हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम हियर टू रिप्रेजेंट अ डेमो क्लास आज के हम एक डेमो क्लास रिप्रेजेंट करब इंग्लिश कैंडिडेट दर अर्थात जैसे सबजेक्ट इंग्लिस को इंग्लिस मीडियम स्कूल अन्न को स्कूले डेमो क्लस टपिकटा सब चाहते इम्पर्टेंट एवं को वे पढ़ाले डेमो क्लस सुंदर है से नहीं आज के डिसकस करब ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट so you were in a school for demo class and in front of you so many students are there so first of all you will say them good morning or good afternoon okay then start your demo class Good morning, students. Do you know I came here some days ago to submit my CV, and today I am coming here again for a demo class. And it's my wish that I will come soon and join the school. So, students, have you noticed I have spoken three sentences, which depend on time. That is different types of time. Yes, this is the topic which I will discuss with you. so the topic is tense so what is tense tense indicates the time of an action or an event there are three types of tense in english grammar present tense past tense and future tense so the three sentences i have spoken first one i came here some days ago to submit my cv This was happened in past so this is past tense i am coming here again for a demo class so this happens now that is in present so this is present tense and i will come here soon and join the school this will happen in future so this is future tense so those three tenses are divided into four parts look tense is divided into three part that is present tense past tense and future tense okay and those three tenses are divided into four parts that is simple or indefinite continuous perfect and perfect continuous so present tense is divided into four parts simple present or present indefinite present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous past tense is also divided into four parts simple past or past indefinite past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous and future tense is also divided into four parts simple future or future indefinite future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous so all together there are 3 1 2 3 into 1 2 3 4 so 12 12 tenses are there in english grammar so today we will learn simple tenses that is simple present tense simple past tense and simple future tense So first I will discuss about simple present tense. Simple present tense is used to indicate habits like I drink green tea every day, regular events like uh, I sleep at night, I eat rice, kind affairs like uh, I speak with you and general truths or general facts like man is mortal, the sun rises in the east. Okay. it resembles 
the base form of a verb okay but we use or we add s or es with the verb when the subject is in third person singular number so at first i will explain the person in english grammar there are three types of person in english grammar first person second person and third person so first person singular means i plural means we second person singular means you plural means you and third person singular means he she it and plural means they okay so when the subject is first person singular that is i we will write the main verb like i play cricket when the subject is in first person plural again we will write the main verb we play cricket when the subject is in second person singular we will write the main verb second person plural the same thing and when the subject is third person plural we will write again the main verb but exceptional rule is here when the subject is third person singular that is he or she it here the subject is he or she so we use s we add s or es with the verb okay so he plays cricket she plays cricket okay understood so when the subject is in third person singular number we add s or es with the main verb but other than this uh in case of first person singular first person plural second person singular second person plural and third person plural we write the base form of the verb okay so the structure of simple present tense simple present tense subject plus main verb verb s or es plus object or complement so look subject main verb and object subject verb s object okay so have a look okay so next i will discuss simple past tense past tense so what is simple past tense simple past tense used to indicate the action which already happened like uh, i helped the old man 
Okay, we add ed with the verb. Okay, so there is also some exceptional rules. That is, in all the verbs, we can't add ed. Only in case of regular verbs, we can add ed. And for the irregular verbs, okay, irregular verbs always take different forms so what is regular verb and what is irregular verb i will explain you regular verbs are the verbs where we can add ed to the past form and past participle form of the verb and irregular verb are the verbs where we can't add ed to the past and past participle form of the verb so look regular verb I will give you some example. Like, liked, liked. Help, helped, helped. Work, work. Worked. So, this is present from, this is past from, and this is past participle from. So, in case of regular verb, ed is added to the past from and past participle from of the verb. And irregular verbs. I will give you some example like break, broke, broken, take, took, taken, drink, drank, Drunk. So here we can't add ed to the past form and past participle form of the verb. Okay. So the structure of simple past tense is subject plus ed form of the verb or past form. Plus object or complement. Okay. For example, I helped the old man. So, subject, past form of the verb and object I drank tea so subject pass from object this one is regular verb and this one is irregular verb ok I'll let you look at the board and uh, tell me have you understand or not so uh, next is Simple future tense. Simple future tense. So, what is simple future tense? Simple future tense is used to indicate the action that will happen in future. Okay. So, we add shall or will before the base form of the verb. For example, he will tell his answer. 
I shall come tomorrow. So we add shall or will before the main verb. Okay. So the structure of simple future tense is subject plus shall or will plus main verb plus object or complement. Okay. So those are the simple tenses. Now I will give you some sentence and you will tell me in which tense the sentence are written. Okay. Number one. C writes a letter. Number two. We worked together. Number three. They will sing a song. Number four. I like fruits. Okay. So, those are the sentences where simple present, simple past and simple future tense is used. So, who can tell me uh, in past sentence which tense is used? Okay. So, the class is completed and if any student give you answer, so you have to encourage him or her saying very good or excellent. Okay. तो आज के पर्यत डेमो क्लस टा शेष हलो ओके सो डेमो क्लस टेंस टपिकटा बोल डेमो क्लस टा कम हो टेंस टपिक जो बोझल आज के बुझते पे छा से अवश्य चारटे सेंटेंस तो डेमो क्लस स्टूडेंट छो तारा पार्बे की पार्बे ना बुझे कि बुझे बोझे से चारे सेंटेंस एज अ होमवर्क दिल तुम्हारा अवश्य जाना जो चारटे सेंटेंस टेंस यूज हो सीम्पल प्रेजेंट सीम्पल पास सीम्पल फ्यूचर टेंस को सेंटेंस यूज होता अवश्य जाना डेमो क्लस टी साथ टेंस टपिक टी जो बोझान भलो लेगे थे अवश्य भिडियो लाइक कमेंट ए शेयर कर सबस्क्राइब तो अवश्य कर पास बेल आईकन टी प्रेस करवर्ती भिडियो नोटिफिकेशन गुमरा पे ओके थैंक यू